viewers you are welcome to my youtube video today i'm going to take you through current electricity and to aid your understanding i will solve a single problem two identical cells each of emf e and internal resistance small letter r are first connected in series and next in parallel in each case they are applied across the two ends of a wire of resistance r it is found that the same current flows through the wire. What must be the relation between the capital letter R and small letter R? First, when the cells are connected in series, it will look like what you have on the screen. So I was told in the question, the electromotive first force through the first cell is capital letter E and the internal resistance is small letter R. And the same thing applies to the second cell. And then the current flowing through the circuits is I. The external resistance is capital letter R. Okay, so the effective EMF will be the sum of the two EMFs. So E plus E is 2E. Okay, the external resistance in the wire is R. And then the total internal resistance will be the sum of the two internal resistance of the two cells. R plus R equals to small letter R. Now, the Ohm's law, applying Ohm's law, the current through this circuit will now be equal to the effective EMF 2E divided by the external resistance R plus the internal resistance, the sum, the total internal resistance, which is 2R. Okay? Now, when the cells are connected in parallel, it will look like what you can see on the screen. The EMF E and the internal resistance small letter R for the first cell and the same thing applies to the second cell. Okay, the current through the circuit is I, and the resistance of the wire is R, okay? The effective EMF when cells are connected in parallel is that of just one cell, which is the same thing as E, okay? The external resistance of the wire is R, capital letter R, and then to find the effective internal resistance, I have to apply this formula, one divided by R subscript T, where R subscript T stands for the effective internal resistance of the cells in the circuit. Okay, since there are two cells, it will be one divided by R, small letter R for the first cell, plus one divided by small letter R for the second cell. If I solve these two fractions, it boils down to two divided by R. Now the total internal resistance equals R divided by two. That is the reciprocal of two over R. Now, Ohm's law, Applying Ohm's law for the cells when connected in parallel, the current flowing through the circuit or through the wire will now be equal to the effective EMF E divided by the external resistance capital letter R plus the total internal resistance R subscript T. Now, if I substitute the value for R subscript T, which is R over 2, um, now I can now resolve the right-hand side of this equation, which is equal to 2 multiplied by capital letter E which is the EMF, electromotive force, divided by 2 times R plus small letter R. Now, I was told in the question that the current flowing through the circuits, both in series and parallel, is same, okay? So I can equate the value for the current when the cells are connected in series, which is 2E divided by capital letter R plus 2 multiplied by small letter R to be equal to the value I got here, 2E divided by 2R plus R. Now 2E can cancel 2E. If I cross multiply, I'll have 2R, 2 capital letter R plus small letter R equals capital letter R plus 2 small letter R. Now if I collect like terms, the equation will now reduce to capital letter R equals small letter R. So the external resistance, the value of the external resistance equals the value of the internal resistance. So the relationship between capital letter R and small letter R is capital letter R equals small letter R. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I do hope it was helpful and the solution was simple. If you've forgotten the name of the channel, it's Victorian STEM. And if you've not subscribed, kindly do so by hitting the subscribe button. Drop your kind comments if any and if you have any problem feel free to drop it at the comment section and i'll address every one of those thank you